Hello guys, Soft Tony here and welcome to my channel and in today's video tutorial I'm gonna be showing you an easy way to create an awesome slideshow, intro or transition inside of After Effects. This is a simple technique that everyone can use to improve the quality of their videos. We will be creating everything from scratch and achieving a cool animation in the end. And before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel, also hit the like button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming video clips. And without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create new composition, controller, command plus N or hit on this little icon. This is gonna be final, 90, 20 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Now hit OK and for the next step, let's drag and drop this media 01 from the project window here into the timeline. Of course, you'll import your own media and now go right click to create new solid layer. This is gonna be transition. Alright, also 90, 20 by 1080, hit OK. Now go here in the facts and preset and type. Venetian blinds effect drag and drop onto the transition solid layer and here let's make further adjustments for the transition completion set up the first keyframe here at 0 frames and let's type 100 ok for the direction let's type 45 alright and for the width let's go to around 200 ok now go here to around 1 second or so and type here for the transition completion 0 and also hit U to show all of the keyframes grab them hit F9 then go to graph editor and let's draw a curve like this okay and also for the track mat let's find here alpha mat for this media 01 to transition and if you can find track mat hit here toggle switches and modes and now when we hit zero we have this cool looking transition next thing what we're gonna do is to pre-compose this media 01 and transition select them go right click and then pre-compose this is gonna be media plus transition one and make sure to move all attributes into the new composition hit ok and now let's duplicate this composition hit ctrl plus d or go edit and then duplicate ok move these two frames ahead like so and select this lower one go here in the facts and preset and find fill effect double click ok and now we can play around with the colors you can use eyedropper like so and as you can see we have cool looking transition also what we can do is to change here color, go right click, find suitable color, just for easy recognition. We can duplicate this once again, hit Ctrl plus D, move two frames ahead also. And let's also change color for this one. Go again here in the effects and preset, find fill effect, also drag and drop. And let's also use eyedropper to change to suitable color, hit zero and our transition is looking great. Ok, you can play around with everything here and for the next step let's pre-compose, select everything, go right click, pre-compose and this is gonna be part 01 and as you can see now we have here in the timeline in the final composition this new composition part 01 and now go here in the project window and now let's duplicate this part 01, hit ctrl plus D, move this part 01 inside this final composition and let's also readjust this one go to around 2 seconds or so or maybe 1 second and 15 frames play around all right and now let's open up this part 02 composition let's also duplicate this media plus transition 1 hit ctrl plus d then select everything here in the part 02 composition and just drag and drop while you're holding alt on your keyboard on top of this media plus transition 01 now open up this media plus transition 2 and let's also repeat the process select this media 01 find your own media 02 hold alt like before and just drag and drop here on this media plus transition 2 okay scale it down if you need hit s for scaling if you need for your own footage for your own image i'm just showing you the way okay go here again in the final composition and now when we hit zero we have this cool looking transition and this is looking great what we can do open up this part 02 again hit f3 to show effects control and now let's change colors, play around, maybe for this blue one. And for the second one, let's go to around maybe this color or whatever fits to you. Okay, now what we can do also is to open up this media plus transition. Hit you to show all of the keyframes. You can also readjust here for the transition completion. 
and let's also change direction from 45 to maybe minus 45 to go opposite animation like so then go here in the final composition let's hit zero this is our first and this is our second transition and this is looking great and for the final step let's also create solid layer go right click to create solid layer this is gonna be just bg4 background okay move it down and now as you can see we also have the background you can add fill or ramp effect or four color gradient everything is pretty much up to you let's hit zero again first image and this is the second image and also what we can do open up this part 01 media we can also scale maybe this media 01 maybe to go 110 set up the first keyframe go to around five seconds or four seconds and let's hit here 100 now open up this media plus transition 2 okay and because we have already scaled down this image we will do different values hit s for scaling and for the first keyframe let's go to around maybe 38 or so set up the first keyframe and then go all the way to the four seconds and let's type 33 or 32 all right maybe 33 it's zero and also we have the scale animation in our media plus transition tool and now when we go back here in the final composition hit zero this is our first animation and this is our second animation all right guys uh, this is the way so you can create even more slides just copy this part 01 or part 02 here in the project window and then use alt on your keyboard while you're duplicating those compositions and as a final result you can get this beautiful and cool looking slideshow or transition all right guys that was everything for today's tutorial like always i hope you learned something new and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and also if you found this video helpful please hit that like button and one thing we have forgotten to mention that you can also import your text here just go here on this little icon, import your text here inside this part 01 and part 02 compositions and you can get cool looking and beautiful slideshow or you can leave it this way, everything is pretty much up to you. And also for the end, take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials. You can also leave me a comment down below in the comment section, suggestions what to do next and until next time, stay creative and bye bye.